What's up guys, let me show you one of the best rocket phone that money can buy. Let's go. Yeah guys, here on my hand I have the new Doji B30. It is a super resistant phone with many advanced features that make it stand out from other phones in the market. What really makes this phone super resistant is the metal frame and the rubber edges. On the back of the phone we have a 3 camera system and even though it's a rocket phone, it, you know, it still has a very clean slick design. It also has a dual speaker system with very clean sound. On the right side we have volume up, volume down, power button with the fingerprint sensor. On the top we don't have no buttons, no holes, so clean design. On the left side we have the SIM card tray and the custom button. On the bottom the main microphone and the Type-C charging port. This phone is also classified IP68, IP69K, which means that this phone is water resistant, dust resistant and drop resistant. This phone features an IPS 6.58 Full HD display and 120 refresh rate and also mentioning Corning Gorilla glass protection. It already has Android 12. This phone comes with 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs internal storage, expandable up to 2 terabyte using a memory card. And finally, you also come with the Dimensity 900 Optal Core 2.4 GHz processor, the Mali G68 GPU. And the best part, we are getting a huge battery on this phone. This phone features a 10,800 mAh battery with uh, 66 fast charging. So with this battery capacity, you don't have to be worried about charging your phone every day. You know what I mean? So this battery can last maybe three, four days around that. Yeah, but it's a pretty huge battery, guys. Something that I really like about this phone is that this phone support eSIM. So which means that you can use up to four different phone numbers on the same phone a part of the physical SIM card. To be honest, if you're gonna buy a new phone, just make sure the phone support eSIM. And that's because after Apple start making iPhone only supporting eSIM, not physical SIM card, I see that you can find better deals on cell phone company, better plan and faster internet speed action. So just make sure guys, the phone that you're gonna buy support eSIM. This guy right here is unlocked for any company. You can use it everywhere. Now let's talk about the camera system. As you can see, this phone has a pretty nice camera set up. So the main camera is 108 megapixel. We are also getting a 20 megapixel night vision camera. As you can see right back of the phone, we have two infrared night vision light. On this phone, it seems like they work a lot to improve the night vision feature. On the previous phone, the night vision, it wasn't that well. So on this phone, it looked just amazing. We also have a 16 megapixel wide angle and macro camera and a 32 megapixel front camera. I also took some pictures that way you can see the camera quality. So as you can see, it did a good job. So something that I have to mention about the out of focus is pretty slow guys so you have to play a little bit with the phone camera to be able to take good pictures but that's not a big problem that's something that they can fix it by an update i hope they do it soon but now talking about the camera features the poultry mode uh, i took some pictures using the poultry mode and as you can see i really love the result so i was surprised how nice you can just take poultry mode pictures with this phone you can also record a 4k including the selfie camera just in case if you're gonna use this phone to play games or to use any app that require a lot from any phone I recommend you to do this this phone has a setting that you can turn on and get the best out of it so let me show you what this setting does guys this setting is stop apps from running in the background so that means if you turn on this setting for each app on this section uh, those apps are not allowed to be running in the background which means that you now will have more memory RAM to do anything you want so to play games to use any app that require a lot from this phone or anything like that you can just do that I was gaming a little bit on this phone and I can say the phone was really responsive obviously this phone was connected to a really good Wi-Fi connection really stable so that's why I didn't have any lag on it and you know the phone is completely new so it should be working good now so because some phone they get slow when you start downloading a lot of apps and stuff like that that's why you need to be careful downloading apps on your phone you need to know which app you're gonna download to make sure the phone never gets slow if you have any question about this phone please let me know in the comment section if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe